Hi, everybody. It's May 24th, 2018, and this is Newsbreak, and I'm Alex Bennett. How are you? We got some news for you today. You know, I, I, I'm thinking about stopping this whole thing because every day is just nothing but Trump news. It's one Trump news item after another, and today is no exception. The second time this week, North Korea has threatened to back out of the summit meeting next month. A top North Korean official said today that remarks by Vice President Mike Pence, you know, uh, the people in the administration are just loose cannons. They said that his statements were ignorant and stupid. Now, what did he say? Well, he warned this week that North Korea's leadership could end up like Colonel Muammar Gaddafi with, I guess, a bayonet up his ass and in a drainage ditch uh, if they don't agree to a deal. <laughs> yes, A B said that. In response, President Trump turned around and canceled the summit with North Korea. In a letter published online, Trump cited tremendous anger and open hostility from official North Korean statements about the decision. Uh, there's more to it than this. We also have North Korea showing a bunch of the international press around uh, their nuclear test sites and then dismantling them today. So that's been going on. Now, we don't know if the North Koreans don't have more nuclear sites because this is in a very mountainous region where you could hide, set, hide several nuclear sites. But at least one nuclear site has been destroyed or the tunnels blocked up or whatever. But the president has decided, eh, no moss with the, uh, with the, with the current uh, situation with uh, North Korea. We're not going to have our meetings. So what happens to these? Uh, those are the coins, by the way, that the United States has minted for the trip uh, to the peace talks. I guess they could send them to me, and maybe I can go out to Coney Island, and they might use them at an arcade or something like that, because that's all they're good for. Uh, President Trump has branded his latest attempt to discredit the special counsel's Russia investigation as Spygate, part of a newly invigorated strategy embraced by the Republican colleagues to raise suspicions about the probe that has dogged his presidency since, his, uh, since the start. Uh, Trump's latest broadsides has set the stage for an unusual decision for the White House to arrange access to classified documents which are only going to be seen by the gang of eight Republican House members who are all Trump allies. No Democrats allowed. Can you believe that? Yep, that's what's going on. Federal judge in New York has decided the president can't block people who disagree with him on his Twitter account. The U.S. District Court judge for the Southern District of New York wrote in a 75-page decision that Trump and other public officials cannot block people from their Twitter accounts in response to political views that person has expressed, so I guess you can call him motherfucking cocksucker and he can't, uh, can't cancel you. Uh, White House Senior Advisor Donald Trump's son-in-law, yes, Jared Kushner, little Jared, right, uh, was granted permanent White House security clearance. His clearance was restored on a permanent basis after he finally submitted an application which was followed by an official review. You may remember last year he had uh, lost his security clearance because I guess you get to have it for one year, but in that year you have to apply for security clearance, and he didn't. Well... He got it now. Let's get to non-Trump news. Yes, there is non-Trump news. The uh, owners of the teams of the National Football League approved a new policy to hand out punishment when players don't stand for the national anthem. Under the policy, the league will find teams, not the players, if they kneel or fail to show respect for the Star Spangled Banner at the start of games. Individual teams, though, may adopt internal work rules for how players behave during the national anthem. The players can stay in the locker rooms during the national anthem if they wish, and I wonder when the day comes that we're going to see just a ton of those guys just staying in the locker room and nobody coming out to the field till the coast is clear from this stupid song we call a national anthem. More than two-thirds of Americans now support same-sex marriage. Whoop-de-doo, good for you. More are identifying themselves as part of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender community. Ah, yeah, new Gallup research shows that 67% of Americans, the highest level ever recorded by Gallup, said they support same-sex marriage. 
And Uber has announced it's pulling its self-driving vehicles uh, from uh, Arizona after the state withdrew its permit over a deadly crash earlier this year. Certainly a good idea. The company said it's going to lay off 300 workers in the Arizona division, but said they're going to keep testing the self-driving Ubers until they get it right or until maybe 20 or 30 people are killed. We don't know. Got a picture for you today. This one I found in my files. This was the worst advertising campaign I think was ever done for my radio show in San Francisco. It reads, medicated, in love, happy Alex Bennett. When that ad campaign came out, it was on the back of buses and it was in billboards and so on. The ratings plummeted. <laughs> Nobody wanted to see me happy and in love. And it's time for our video of the day from last night's um, citizen panel. And guess who's back? Brian. And he's back in great form. Brian. Yeah. Nevertheless, yeah. I have more of the other thing about uh, Trump being blocked from uh, tw from uh, uh, Twitter. blocking people from his Twitter account. Yeah. Uh, I, th I heard that on the radio, actually, on my way to the house here. Yeah. And uh, all I had to say to that was, good, I hope the motherfucker has a stroke. I hope he I hope he fucking passes out on account of the fact that he can't be the dictatorial cocksucker that he normally is by his very nature because he's going to have to listen to people like me bitch to him and I'm going to get right to his fucking face and I'm going to point my little finger at him this one right here I'm going to stick it right up his fucking nose I love you ladies and gentlemen Brian <laughs> <laughs> well, Brian's back, ladies and gentlemen, and we love having him back. Uh, that, that's about it for today. You can find us tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time at youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett Live. Right, you can write that down or just put it in your, you know, just type it into your browser and then make it a tab on your browser and there's a countdown to the show. You don't have to do anything. It just starts on its own. You can also find us after the fact on Facebook, on YouTube. You can find us on live stream. Uh, let's see, anywhere else? Oh, yes, iTunes. You can find us both the video version and the audio version on iTunes and a lot of other places, too, as I always like to say, around town more than a cheap suit. See you again tomorrow. Hope there isn't as much Trump news.